Hey Bird Gang, Matt here, Country Song Teacher. We're doing another backseat F-150 guitar lesson. And trust me, when you have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-month-old, time is extremely valuable. It's extremely hard to find free time where I'm just alone, kind of able to do lessons, that kind of thing. So um, the sacrifice is real, gang. I love doing guitar lessons. I love to help you guys out. I love to teach that kind of thing. This is going to be a cool song. It's going to use C, G, D, and E minor over and over on the verses, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. Now, a lot of people might say, why are most of your songs C, G, D, E minor? One, from a kind of a, let's call it a marketing perspective, I like to keep things kind of consistent. Also, if you want to do different chords, you can transpose. You can do D, G, A, B minor. You can do C, F, G, A minor. You can do A, E, B, C sharp minor. You can do what's called transpose. So if you say, I want to do more chords than just those four, no biggie, just transpose. If you don't know what transpose means, type in Matt McCoy transpose. T-R-A-N-S-P-O-S-E. Matt McCoy transpose in the search bar, and I'll, I'll talk more about that. But let, let's get to this lesson. So it goes, I love you. I love you. Okay, to get the right key. Start it over, thanks. Go. So again, you know me, if you're new to my lessons, my C is like a C at nine. It's just like a G, like in the two bottom strings, fifth and sixth, but go down to the fourth and fifth and strum the bottom five. Two Cs, then just go up these two fingers, two Gs, the D chord, press the third string, bottom four, and lastly the E minor, press the fifth and fourth, all six. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm just using my thumb. Sometimes, uh, usually I don't even use a pick. I'll just use kind of the end of my first finger. So I always say start out with just doing down strums because you're listening for that timing. So key. I love the dimples and the small of your back. Right there, the whole thing, C, G, D, E minor. The pre-chorus, let it run, let it roll. Baby, I am under your control. Love me fast, kiss me slow. Hang on to anything you can hold. Now notice there, I kept that same timing. And a lot of times, what I found I did, and I see a lot of beginners do this, is you tend to strum on the word. Let it run, let it roll, baby. But it's all about a rhythm and timing, kind of that. You hear what on a piano or something, the metronome? You'll see a lot of times you can't see now, but I'll kind of have my knee tapping in the video. That's just keeping that consistent timing. It's a long way down where I wanna go. It's a long way down the stair of your soul. It's a long way down my road. I love your salt and sugar on the tip of my tongue. So I always tell people break the song down. First, you've got to learn the chords. If you don't know the G, C, E minor, and D chords, you can type in Matt McQueen first four chords. I go over those really slow and simple. How with very little movement, and lock them in the two bottom strings, you can play those chords. Very little movement, and it keeps you, and those, lock, those two bottom strings locked, keeps the guitar stable. So you definitely want to do that. Once you learn the chords, you say, what order are the chords in? So in this case, C, G, D, E minor. Once you learn the chords and the order, the third thing, what is the rhythm? How long do I stay? How many strums and so forth on each chord? One, two, one, two. So like I said, I might start out just doing down strums after I get really clear with the chords. And then I might go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. I'm still keeping that same timing, but I switch the strumming up. Let it run, let it roll, 
It's a long way down to Maybe it's a better key to go lower there. It's a long way down to where I wanna. I'll still do that. I always tell people when I'm still learning songs, that kind of palm you. It's a long way down to where I wanna go. Because that helps me get in a position easy to switch to that next chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So even though I'm. I even though instead of two count, I'm saying four here, I'm keeping that same consistent timing. It's a long way down to where I wanna go. It's a long way. What I'm doing there, you can type in Matt McCoy palm mute for less than this. I'm taking the outside of my hand muting strings and just chopping away. Gotta keep your Taylor GS mini. Um, in the car, guitar with you. So uh, anyway, guys, check out all my lessons at CountrySongTeacher.com. Thank you so much for the support. Like I said, I, I apologize. I'm getting a little slower responding to comments and snaps, Instagrams, but and my hands are full with more important things than YouTube and guitar. Y'all feel me? Those little kids, boy, they grow up too fast. I can't believe my other boy is already four and a half. It's like I was just on here saying I have him. Actually, it feels like just the other day I had no kids. And now I wake up and I got three. Daddy, daddy. I'm like, how would I get here? Mommy and I had some fun. That's all they got to right? All right, guys. Check out CountrySongTeacher.com. Thank you so much for the support. Let's get back to work. Holla.